over the line.
combined with the number of uno. The number one, you have questions in the future. Amy, the concept of a national type of realized for medical hair cancer. Yes, amigos. Yes, my friends. Several antenna manufacturers around the world, including the BHM and UHM antennas, are promoting an antenna system by the name of Dipole Nest. Yes, and they don't use very birds to hatch their eggs. Dipole Nest. And then given to a certain number of halfway dipole antennas tuned to specific frequencies and connected in parallel at the common feed point. That's the essential part of this thing. The dipole nest are not exactly a broadband antenna because each of the elements has a definite reference frequency band width. But in natural practice, we realize that the resonant frequency of a certain number of halfway dipoles can prove to be a quite useful antenna system in natural practice. Although this is not properly a broadband antenna, in the antenna, you can hear in literature, broadband antenna chapter. For example, amateur radio operators have a group of between two and four half-wave dipoles, wire dipoles connected in parallel for the high frequency bands, and fed from a single coaxial cable, to be on 50 ohm fractal flexible coax, or RT 58 and using a one-to-one -one balance between the antenna feed point and the coaxial cable. One of the combinations for this half wire versions of the dipole nest is used for covering the 20, 15, and 10 meter bands, while another less common system used is 13, 12, and 10 meters. I'm going to my own practical experience at CO2 can get up Using more than three dipoles is possible, but in dry sense, because the antenna becomes more of a problem when you look into the property. Dipole nests are sometimes seen at VHF monitoring stations used for the monitoring of the radio frequency spectrum. As those professional systems have up to six or even seven dipoles connected to the dipole center element with coaxial cable. But don't try to buy one of those, as they are pretty expensive, and according to experts, it's much more better option to invest your money. In home brewing, a broadband conical or cage dipole antenna set will provide much better performance. And this is a very much publicized dipole set sold by the professional manufacturers. <laughs> Radio program devoted to the promotion and development of this one of the hobbies that you and I enjoy so much, radio. Your radio hobby questions are most welcome. Always send them to info rhc, again, info rhc at enet.cu or via airmail, also very easy, easy airmail, to Arnie Coro, my last name is spelled Charlie Oscar Romeo Oscar, Arnie Alpha Romeo November, if you like, Arnie Coro, radio have a queue, have a queue. And the next item of today's weekend program. One of the most fascinating ways of enjoying the shopping is the most simple equipment. An upcoming process calls for the use of a single active device receiver, be it a vacuum tube, a bipolar transistor, or a field effect transistor, or a MOSFET. In an upcoming edition of this show, yes, I will try to be broadcast the rules for this one active device receiver concept. A single active device. But in the meantime, let me tell you that uh, my single device, vacuum tube, the three S4 triodes with a very high PSI goes to right and they should good reception of the 40 meters amateur band. These are amateur new releases are now in progress worldwide using the FD8 and FD4 and JT65 specialized communications modes providing one of the more than 90 different ways to and I have a nice time playing with our radios. Now with the diesel modes available. And that's all for today. This is Arnie Coro, Radio Amateur CO2 KK, your host here at Radio Havana's DXS Unlimited, saying 73 and very good DX. <laughs> Thursdays and Thursdays, UTC days, right here on Orange.